So Meghan Markle says she's in a chapter of investing in myself in your interview. So that was a few days ago. I remember how she did an interview with the New York Times and where she talked about her investments in female led brands like Sesta Collective, the handbag brand and so she basically at that time mentioned that she is in the chapter of her life where she's ready to invest in herself of course yesterday i did a video about the fact that um her brand trademark that she tried to trademark american riviera orchard and that was rejected just a few days ago, I believe. So she does not have a trademark at this time for American Riviera Orchard because somebody at the trademark and patent office in the U.S. basically said that American Riviera is a geographic location. It should be open to everybody. It's too commonplace, this, that, and the next which I just went off and I said, look, I mean, nobody ever referred to any place in the United States as a Riviera before Megan did in modern times. So this is just BS and somebody at the office is a hater who wants to give her a hard time. And I stand by it. Voila. But that said, um, you know, someone left a comment. Don't just stay calm. Don't worry about it. She's going to get her trademark. I hope this person is right because this person does sound very informed frankly. And so I hope this person is right and that she will get her trademark so that she can really fulfill this era of investment in, you know, herself as well as in others as well. Right. And, um, so what else about her investment in herself? Well, I just think it's so important, you know, as women in particular, to invest in oneself, you know, and really Megan has helped so many people, both her and Harry. And I think she's right that it's time to, I mean, the power that she has, and she acknowledged that in a New York Times article, you know, just wearing an earring, just an earring, it could be just a stud, you know, once they know the brand, and we you know <clears throat> who <clears throat> ah my voice <clears throat> once they know oh, what happened to my voice oh my god once they know the brand right um that could really drive sales for that little stud what is going on <clears throat> right and i think that she's absolutely right about the power that she she possesses at this time. It may not be that way for the for her entire life. You know, as she gets older and, you know, younger people come on the scene, you know, her daughter grows up, Charlotte grows up, other people in the royal family grow up, you know, people get married and have exciting relationships. You know, her and Harry are not always going to be the most exciting thing in the world. Right now they are, and right now is the time for them to capitalize on that because eventually they are going to have to cede the spotlight to somebody else, right? Someone younger, more interesting. But they have, I think, a good 10, 15 years to really exploit this very prolific time in their lives. And yeah, invest in themselves, invest in themselves. I mean, you know, with, with everything, I mean, even with Harry, I mean, what he has done in terms of positioning himself as a global, someone call him a global statesman, which I think is perhaps the perfect, the perfect term, you know, he has literally created that, right? He did not leave the royal family and Buckingham Palace as a global statesman. He just wasn't. He was just Prince Harry, you know, the son of some rich, influential king and, you know, grandson of this and da da da. And leaving with his wife in 2020 was the catalyst, you know, it's where he 
metamorphosized into this global statesman along with his beautiful and influential wife. I mean, they created this, right? They created this by investing in themselves. It's so beautiful to watch. And yeah, I'm I'm here for it. I can't wait. You know, I can wait, but I can't wait at the same time. You know, it's just the constant um, projects and news and updates from these two. They just keep us on our toes. They keep busy. They know how to just keep things moving, you know. And that's exactly why the UK press and other international media outlets are so addicted to this couple is like it's like they're like a potent stimulant you know where it's just like just constant 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 anyway yeah I'm all for them investing in themselves and being fully immersed in this chapter of their lives where that's their focus investing in themselves I'm here for it That's all for this one. See you in the next one. Take care. Bye.